future engineers, good day! So, for today's video, we're going to explore about both and its importance in engineering construction. So, let's start! To start with, let's define first what is fault. A fault is a planar, gently covered fracture in the rock of Earth's crust where compressional or tensional forces causes relative displacement of the rocks on the opposite side of the fracture. Folds may range in a few millimeters to thousands of kilometers. Most folds produce repeated displacement over geologic time. During an earthquake, the rock on one side of the fold suddenly slip with respect to the other. There are five types of folds. First is the normal fold. These folds form when the hanging wall drops down in relation to the foot wall. Second is the reverse fold. It is formed when hanging hanging wall moves up and forces creating reverse folds are compressional pushing the sides together. They are common at convergent boundaries. Third is the stride slip fold. These folds have walls that move sideways, not up or down. In these folds, the fold plane is usually vertical, so there is no hanging wall or foot wall. The forces creating in these folds are lateral or horizontal, carrying the sides of path each other. Fourth is the deep slip fold in which the upper block above the fold plane moves up and over the lower block. This type of folding is common in areas of compression. And the last one is, ob is the oblique slip fold which shows both deep slip and strike slip motion. Those are the five types of folds. And now, let's move on to the main objectives of this video. The importance of folds in engineer engineering construction. Folds are significant in engineering construction due to their various danger as well as functional effects. Folds and their geologic structures help us to make geologic maps in which we can used to infer underground structure where we can see the rock and to help us understand the formation of geologic resources. Also, folding patterns can have enormous economic importance because folds can control the movement of groundwater and they can have a major influence on the shaping of landscape. Furthermore, Folds and earthquake and geology and strengthening a building, it is important to reduce earthquake force to a building is subjected to and to understand the risk that different areas face for earthquake hazards. Lastly, we need to know where folds are and how they behave when earthquake strikes so that we can give precautions. That's all for today. I hope you gain some knowledge about this topic. And thank you for watching.